So how I promised last time, I did install Linux Mint on my gaming PC and in this video I'm going to play some games using Steam and I'm going to play some games from Epic Store using Crossover for Linux. But I'm also going to explore some customizations because I didn't know how to customize it and I just find out what I was doing it. And I have to admit I'm pretty impressed with Linux Mint. I did have some problems, you know, some small things, Linux tweaking and stuff like this. But other than that, it's really really good. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. So yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so the computer that we're working on, it has an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X with eight cores, 16 CPU. So you can see here, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and the display is an NVIDIA GTX 1060 with six gigabytes of RAM. So what we're going to do, we are going to simply just install Linux Mint and I want to see how the performance on Linux Mint is because at the moment there's a lot of people transitioning from Windows to Linux and I have a really really good impression that this will be an amazing experience. The reason is that Linux Mint is literally one of those things that really managed to impress me like completely managed to impress me and I want to see what's capable of so we're going to oh, i'm using the wrong mouse we're going to boot from our usb hopefully this is the linux mint partition i do have another one in case this is not the one because i have that all same usb sticks from sandisk so there is a possibility i might get the wrong one but from what i saw earlier linux mint well from the first video it's pretty easy to install straightforward this is linux mint this is the correct one straightforward and the performance on the low-end laptop was so good that i actually use that laptop right now i mean like it's i i use it daily taking notes going a little bit on the internet and things like that i'm i'm really really impressed this is what i'm saying i'm really impressed so since this computer it's pretty old you know nvidia 1060 is not the best one at the moment and why is my screen flickering uh then i really want to you know improve if i can get more life out of it then i'll get more life out of it there is no questions about it so yeah we're going to see what we get problem is i don't understand why my screen is flickering maybe it's because the installer i don't know we will see so at the moment i'm not using the monitor as a full screen i'm using obs so i'm seeing the image pass through obs and we're going to see what's uh What's going on? Oh my god, my screen is flickering like really bad. It's maybe because of the installer, hopefully. Okay, so we managed to do it. Problem is, it's flickering and I don't know if it's because of the capture card, but earlier with Windows it was fine. So hopefully after the installation it's completed, we won't have any problems. But yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll come back after the installation is completed and we'll see what's going on. Okay, so the big problem that I have here is we just installed Linux Mint, but it's still doing the same. So hopefully this is just like a driver issues and stuff like this. Okay, looks like it's fixed. So even going back to the monitor, yeah, no flickering on the monitor. So the way to fix it, it's just install the graphic cards. So, which is very, very good. Now, the thing that I want to do, oh, believe it or not, I'm actually, I'm actually scared of adjusting the uh, the resolution right now, so it doesn't broke again. But the things that I want to do, of course, it's a gaming PC, so I want to use it as a gaming PC to install games. And again, this is not the most powerful system on the planet, but at the same time, it's still capable enough. Now, I want to see if I get better performance using Steam and Proton on Linux and have an idea then how it goes and things like this. Now, here is the NVIDIA drivers required. Okay, next. And things like this. The thing is that, oh my God, this is really cool. The performance is really good. Firefox. like the performance is really good youtube.com slash tech for life 91 i don't know about you but i really like linux 
like especially this version i really really like it install whatever you need to install my man don't worry about it i will come back when i'm signing to steam okay so what i did i did sign in to steam but i'm also installing crossover now crossover if you don't know it's a really popular application especially on mac because you can play windows games on mac but it has a version of linux as well so what i did i installed crossover as well and see which one it's better now for me crossover is not only for games crossover will help you guys you know like run windows application and stuff like this but let's check a game so let's check oh yeah because i have to redo these settings so which one was it compatibility issue enable restart later start now crossover how you can see you can install all kind of things right you can install steam I really can install all by the way when I'm going to home or oh, is that this one no oh, so you're telling me epic doesn't work here epic game store yes it does so I know not a lot of people love epic but they are giving free games from time to time so because they're giving free games it's really nice to install it and get those games now crossover it is a monthly subscription don't get me wrong but it will probably do the job i'm really curious to see which one will be better performance on steam or performance with crossover now we will see how that goes As you can see this one is already installing and steam it's downloading so this will probably take a while okay so both games are now installed and i will assume in crossover i can see when i go to install here now when i go to home no i can only see epic store so i have to go through epic store to open the game which is fine and let's start with spider-man using proton i'm really curious to see the performance it's going to be any better than windows keep in mind on, on this pc i get about 30 fps 40 sometimes and things like this not the best one but not the worst one and uh, why is it not opening download it so now it's launching i am really curious to see how the performance will be compared to windows and at the moment i'm not gonna lie but i really like how it is so we're going to play 1080p full screen tsr dynamic that sounds about right okay we're getting a black screen this is never good so my computer completely crashed while trying to play spider-man let's force reset it and we'll see from there what's going on synchronizing maybe there's some of the settings that we did wrong let's go back into settings so we have aspect ratio graphic cards nvidia on frame generation on okay let's try this again second time is a charm so we have the okay so this time works perfectly Oh, it's just a bug that's a small the thing with Lin 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 linux what am i doing the thing with linux is that you know you do get small bugs and things like this but it does feel nice when you're the one who's finding the issue or stuff like this i really like this what okay uh stop launch let's change the settings i think i think we did something wrong over there so how about we put these two off off and we'll leave it like this let's try it yeah i think this time is way better oh yeah this time is way better I, the game was perfectly okay this this one to make me the specs up a little bit so i can say right now i have the same specs that i'm using on windows and this one 
already uh, looks better than Windows. But what if? Nah, because I want one. What if I can up the resolution? There is no way. I get better performance on this one than with Windows. There is no way. <laughs> I can't believe it. How is this possible? This game is not even made for Linux. And keep in, I think they're using a translation layer, right? With Proton, something like a translation layer. How is it possible that it works better? I do have small lag from time to time. Keep in mind, I'm on higher resolution. Way higher resolution. Okay, Linux Mint, you, you managed to surprise me. Now I'm curious to see how this will go with Epic. The problem is I don't really want to exit the game because I am too shocked. I'm way too shocked. This is amazing. Now, let's try picture in picture mode again. Big picture, sorry. Because earlier big picture looked like super laggy and stuff like this. And this time will probably be the same. I don't understand this. Yeah, it's super laggy. So let's exit. Now let's try Dying Light. I never played that game, it's just a random game I installed to see how it will go. And well most mostly to see if it's if epic games will work with crossover on this ones. Because like this, people will get both the best worlds, you know, they will get Steam and Epic. And for some reason my what happened? Oh, if you click on the game, it already starts. No. Epic. The thing is that, crossover, <laughs> literally it's a click of a button, that's it. So it's much easier to use crossover than Steam Proton in a way. Because it's only one button, you press and you go. Okay, so let's see what option we have here. That's the graphics. Video. So I want this resolution because I got 120 hertz. Okay, what happened? Uh, yes. And I want... How do I make a full screen now? It is. Yo, game. This game stupid. So let's make it like this. Portal. What the? Why, why does it look like this? Let's, let's be an evil full screen. I know this this some yeah this box sometimes are on Windows as well. Change the resolution, it goes slower. Hi hi hi. All the Nvidia fling. Okay, let's let's go into the game. I'm in a save zone, which is good. So room 190, I will assume it will be upstairs, yes. Awakening, you're in the safe zone, okay, so what do I do now, safe zone. Check for the last survivor on the 14th floor. And how do you want me to do that? Okay. Um, well, the idea is the game works and it works without any problems. So crossover, perfect. 
Now, curious to see if why oh, it's for night and pause. Curious to see if Fortnite will work because this it's an online game, right? And I'm pretty sure due to anti cheats and stuff like this, the game doesn't work. But it is. The idea is using Steam, you can play all your games, and using Crossover, you can play all your other games other from Steam and stuff like this. And I have to admit, I'm getting really good performance compared to my Windows. So Linux main customization. To search and right click the extension. Okay. Extensions. Holy shit, I got all everything here. Transparent panel. Okay, I have to press the plus button. Oppo settings. My apologies, I didn't know that. So use custom and make it red. So you probably have to... Oh, this is so nice. Not a big fan of it, but the fact that I managed to make one work. Jesus. Oh, it works on every app. Oh, see black. Here it is. There is no way. My computer now looks like Mac OS. See black? This is amazing. Okay. So. <laughs> I made this video as a game and stuff like that, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm still waiting to download Fortnite, right? So. Uh, I can play. Minimize, maximize, I believe it's this one. Yes. By the complete style of Mac OS. This is amazing. Okay. For the for those of you who's watching this video and be like, ah, oh, what's this idiot doing? Everybody knows this. I'm I'm sorry. Driver manager. So this is probably to update the drivers and everything. This is such a cool thing. So Fortnite looks like it's completed. Probably what I was playing there. Didn't even notice. Launch error, HTTP response. Okay. So you can't play online games. The typical Fortnite, Fortnite, sorry. The typical error that we get on all of us, we cannot play an online game. Unfortunately. So I believe Linux Mint, it's amazing. I have to admit, I'm way too shocked about what I found. So I think if you install Linux Mint and then you use Steam for your games on Steam and then crossover for your games on other platforms. But also you can use crossover to play games that they don't work directly with Steam Proton. So you can emulate it on Windows. I think it will make like a perfect combination. Now keep in mind crossover for example, you can install other applications. It doesn't have to be only games. You can also install an application that works only for Windows. So you can install an application like DaVinci Resolve if you want to, but the Windows version, even though I know there's a uh, Linux version as well. But yeah, at the end of the day, I am really impressed with Linux. I'm going to continue to improve on Linux Mint. I do love Debian and stuff like this, but Mint it's, it's something new, so it's giving me that tinkering thing. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one, which I'll probably do some more Linux videos very soon.